Hi everybody, I'm Glenn Deemer and welcome to Inside the Sun Belt. We're in the thick of basketball season and have a bunch to catch up on for the men and the women. Let's get right to the action. For the men, Middle Tennessee is on top in the east, UALR in the west. On the women's side, WKU leads the east while Arkansas State has a hold in the west. A full week of games for the men over the past week. On Thursday, Louisiana Lafayette traveled to take on WKU. Alfred Payton would come out strong for the Ragin' Cajuns early in the game with this strip and the dunk. And then with an assist as he tosses the alley-oop to Sean Long. Payton would finish the game with 14 points, 3 rebounds and 3 assists. But the Hilltoppers wouldn't go down that easily. Brandon Harris led Western Kentucky with 16 points and 9 rebounds. The Hilltoppers come up with the win, 72-49. Also on Thursday, Middle Tennessee hosted UALR. Josh Hagens led the Trojans with 14 points, 3 assists, and 2 steals. But the Blue Raiders put on quite a show for their home crowd. J.T. Sultan with the strip and the dunk. And check out the strip by Tweety Knight. Picked it away, now they work it to show. The Blue Raiders go on to win it 82-50. Let's take a look at how the rest of the men fared this past week. On Wednesday, the women of Middle Tennessee hosted UALR. Shadity James would come off the bench for the Trojans and led the team with 18 points and 8 rebounds. But it would be Ebony Rowe for the Blue Raiders that would score over half the total points, finishing the game with 35. Let's take a look at the scoreboard for the women. We have a full slate of games for the women of the Sun Belt. Florida Atlantic, WKU, and FIU all start off the week on the road, with Middle Tennessee and South Alabama hosting games on Sunday. The men play this Thursday and Saturday with a lone game on Sunday as FIU travels to South Alabama. Conference play is heating up for the men and the women, and that's your look inside the Sun Belt. I'm Glenn Dean.